you can visit our website for the commands in the videos if you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines then you can email to us follow us on facebook for further updates Please do like, share, comment and subscribe so I can quickly deliver more videos on various topics. So you will have this document. You can try these commands. Okay. And I will show you how to try the command. So now let me close this. This is my packet tracer file. I'm opening it. Okay. So this is our packet tracer workspace. So here you can have the devices, routers, switches, wireless devices, firewalls, everything is there. Okay. So here you can click here and if you click on the router section, you can see the routers. Okay. Various types of routers are shown. This one is a ISP router, you can see. And I always use the router 2621X. Okay. The reason behind that is it is already having two fast Ethernet interfaces. If you click inside that, go to config, and you can see there are two interfaces fast Ethernet. The message here indicates. Device is still booting. Please wait until it's finished. Whenever a router is started, it will show like this. Okay, we need to wait for a while. So now we can press OK. Router is now ready. Okay. So the model number is router 2621XM. Next, let me take a switch. Okay. Click on the switch here and 2960. You just have to drag and drop, that's all. Okay. So, routers are used to connect different networks. Okay. For example, we have covered everything regarding the IP subnetting, right? So, in that, you might know what is the network and what is the difference between one network to other networks. Okay. So now routers are used to communicate from one network to another network or one subnet to another subnet. Okay. Definitely a router is needed. When you are communicating inside a network, you simply can use a switch. Okay. You don't need to have a router in order to communicate inside the subnet. If they all are in same network, you don't need to have a router. Okay. You can simply connect the devices. For example, now I have taken a router and a switch then I am going for end devices click here and you can have the end devices you will have PCs, laptops, servers and printers, IP phones, tablets, smartphones okay so we can configure throughout our lessons we will see all of these configurations okay so just this one is just an introduction so I am taking a switch and connecting the PCs okay. and so as well. okay. so now to connect you need to check up on the cables okay i just zoom it away okay so that you can see it clearly so click on the cables and we have five types of cables around our configuration we will use straight through cable crossover cable serial cable okay and console cable is also there and auto cable is there okay so there are purposes for each cable. Console cable is used for a connecting a router initially. For the initial setup on a router or switch, you will connect it via the console cable. Okay. Simply like this. You can take the PC here, left here, and click on the console cable. 
click on the router and the console cables port is RS232 okay click on that and in the router you can select the console port okay so this is simple just click on here it will appear and you can select the particular port now okay console means you need to select the console port okay then you can click on the router and reach this side or is from the PC from the PC you can go to terminal and click OK you can see you are inside the router's terminal okay by using the console port you can't do the pinging and all you can do the configuration part only okay for password recovery also we are using the console port okay by the console cable for connecting devices for example routers having the mac address and also the end devices like pcs printers and all are also having mac addresses you can see in the config so go to the laptop and go to the fast ethernet port you can see the mac address of the laptop okay so this mac address is unique for each and every device okay so routers also having mac addresses pcs laptops servers they are also having mac addresses but switches doesn't have mac address okay mac address is created by the manufacturer okay in the network interface cards and all you can see the mac addresses so when you connect same type of devices you are going to use the crossover cable okay for example router to another router or router to a pc so likewise when you connect it you will use the crossover cable okay for example here if i want to connect the pc and the router i can go for the crossover cable here okay it will show up when you move over okay it will show the cable name and you can click on the router and select the port f00 fast ethernet 00 okay click on the pc and go for fast ethernet 0 okay select the exact one if you select anything else like rs232 or usb then it's not going to work out okay now if it is indicating red means it is not activated yet okay so you need to turn on it by commands also you can do it or else you can simply go to the graphical user interface and turn it on so click on the router you can see the port name is fa00 right which means fast ethernet 00 so you can go inside fa00 click on that in the configure config mode fa00 turn on and you can see here it has been turned into green okay so here in the ipv4 you can assign ip addresses as well there won't be any issues okay or else we can do it by the command line interface okay which i will explain in a few moments close it now by connecting straight through or crossover you can do the pinging to check whether the communication is happening or not okay via the console cable you can't do the pinging okay so same type of devices we are using crossover cable which means router to router or router to pc like that or pc to pc like that different type of devices means which means mac device to non-mac device here we are using crossover for mac device to mac device or non-mac to non-mac when you connect a switch with another switch means you are connecting to same type of devices when you connect a router with another router or a pc means you are connecting a mac with another mac which means you are using crossover cable okay you need to use crossover cable for this when you connect a mac device which means a router or pc with a non-mac device which means to a switch at that time you don't need the crossover cable you need the straight through cable okay so i can take another router to demonstrate go to router click on 2621 xm router 
and you can see the PC here and the switch is already taken. So I can go to cable. So router to switch is different type of devices. I can simply go for the straight through cable. So click on the router and FA00 or 014. All these are considered as the interfaces. Okay. I will show in real environment how the cables looks like and all everything I will show okay and the router ports and all also I will show you in a, another session you can have a look at it by now I am just preparing you for the simulation lab part in order to learn the main topics of this CCNA scope okay then we will have a look at other lessons as well okay so go to the switch and select any ports okay you will have fast ethernet ports 24 and gigabit ethernet port 2 okay and also uh, from switch model to model the port ranges can differ like that the options are available okay so let's select a port let me select fast ethernet 05 here okay it's a straight through cable and again i can go inside the router go to config go to the port number FA01 and turn it on here okay in port status you just have to click on so this is the graphical user interface okay we can do all of these via the commands in the CLI okay which is the CLI is the one you accessed from this console port earlier you went inside the laptop and go to the terminal and you uh, press ok here and you went inside the terminal which is the one we are calling the CLI command line interface of the router okay now I can enter and I can start the commands okay so then we can go for other PCs as well and uh, we can connect the laptop with the switch just simply select a port and click on the PC okay it's automatically turned on okay. so likewise we can assign IP addresses for interfaces and try to ping when we ping we can ensure the communication is working successfully here you can see it's showing uh, amber color right uh, orange color one it's blinking in orange mean it's in standby here you can see the packet reset time is running okay it's in real environment so if you click upon the fast forwarding option the time starts running quickly so that here the process is also going to be speed up okay so here i have forward the time or else i can simply click on keyboard press alt plus d okay hold alt and press d so here you can see the time is running So now I can reach inside the laptop, go to desktop, IP config and type an IP address 192.168.10.100. Okay. So this 10.100 is going to be my IP address for this laptop. Okay. So I need a gateway which is 192.168.10.1. Okay. Always remember the gateway of default gateway of any laptop or any device is the router's immediate interface okay so from this device you need to pass this particular router's interface in order to move on for any other network device okay so this is going to be your first default gateway okay this is going to be your first point so it's your default gateway okay so 10.1 we always use like in a network 192.168.10.1 means I will simply use 192.168.10.1 or else I will use 192.168.10.254 okay so I don't have to save this configuration it's automatically saved when I type it so I can simply close the X and if I go to the IP configuration again I can view this okay or else I can set up IP address also in the config. Go to config 
and FA0 part, right? It's, it, it's showing here. So FA0 and turn, it's already turned on. You can assign IP here. You can see the 10.100 is showing, okay? IPv4 address and the subnet mask. And also the default gateway is shown here. In the settings, you can see you will have a IPv4 default gateway 10.1. Okay. Either you can apply it here or else you can go to the desktop and IP config and assign the IP CN. Okay, both are same. If you do it there, it will be automatically updated here. Also, if you apply it here first, then it will be updated there. Okay. So now close it.